The tapir is one of the oldest land mammals. These animals have been around for millions of years, yet they've changed very little. But what has helped this species to live for so long? I joined Jamal Andrinbone, the Education Director of Belize Zoo, to learn more about some of the characteristics, features and behaviors of the tapir that have helped the species to survive. Our lesson starts at the management pen with Indy the tapir. So for tapirs, some of the more obvious ones, they have a very long, flexible nose that you see Indies using to try and get into the bucket. So this is, you can call it a snout, a trunk, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, the technical term for it is a prehensile snout, meaning that it can grasp. So obviously, if you think about their behavior, what they like to eat, this is a very good tool for grasping low hanging fruit, leaves and so on, getting it closer to their mouth. And then they use these, this lovely set of teeth including some rounded canines, incisors, to grind down all that vegetative matter, right? So that's very good for crushing down fruits, veggies, seeds, leaves, and consuming it whole, right? Tapirs are large animals. Their big and strong feet are an important feature that helps them to adapt. They walk and move across habitats with ease because of these splayed, hoofed toes. You don't necessarily find them on mountains, but they can handle high elevation quite well. So these feet you see here are what you would call prehistoric. They've changed very little over the millions of years that tapirs have been around. So those, it's almost like they have four wheel drive built into their feet. They're very good for grasping and climbing up steep river banks and mountainous areas like I mentioned. Um, so they can easily navigate up these areas to get down to water sources and back out of it. And as you saw just now, if something suddenly spooks or startles them like a predator, a jaguar or so on, they can shoot off in a, in a hurry and get to a safer area. They're active mostly at night and although they don't have a very good eyesight, tapirs have excellent senses of smell and hearing to help them get food and avoid danger. To get around in a dark habitat, they rely on their senses obviously. So they have a fantastic sense of smell to seek out not only food but potential threats. Very acute hearing so you can see his ears are adapted to being very mobile, almost like little satellites moving around, picking up every little crack of a branch or every little shuffle in the forest to try to differentiate between a friend or foe, basically in the wild. And their eyesight is relatively poor compared to the other senses, but it's still better than ours. Another characteristic that has helped this animal to survive is its strong and thick skin, which helps to protect them. Although these adaptation features have helped these species to live long, today tapirs are endangered. In Belize, jaguars are their natural predator in the forest but humans are their biggest threats. After all, hunting, vehicle collisions, and deforestation are three of the biggest threats to tapirs. And as Belizeans, we should do more to protect these animals because they help to shape and maintain the biological diversity of our forests. That ability to consume, to find food easily, to consume it, chew it down, that apart from being beneficial to them, if we kind of lead into conservation, the, the role that they play in the forest is as seed dispersers. So the fact that they can seek out and consume a lot of fruit, a lot of fallen um, seeds in our forest and consume them and then pass them on into other areas is a very useful way of keeping the forest regenerating. So these, this is where it kind of leads into the human dimension of wildlife where their survival, their adaptations benefit both them and us as a species, right? It keeps our forests healthy and we know that Belizeans derive a lot of benefits from a healthy forest. So these guys are one of the, the engineers of keeping that going, right? Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.